Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Krista Kathleen and I am a life and business coach and creator of this group. And currently I am in Floripa, Brazil. I've been traveling around the world for the past two years, here for a couple more days, leaving for Peru on Saturday. And so it's really rainy today and I'm super oily and shiny, but anyways, so Thursdays are the days when I do free coaching and today we're gonna talk about four ways to discover your niche. This is the question that I get asked most from new coaches and it just paralyzes people to the point where they feel like if they don't know their niche exactly, then they feel like they can't coach. And first of all, that's not true at all. Um, I've taken so many years to figure out my niche and sometimes I'm still trying to nail it down exactly and um, it's a process. So first of all, you know, just give yourself permission that you don't need to have all these answers right away. And the more that you start coaching, you're going to figure these things out with time. And I really believe that your coaching needs to be put into the world so you can serve and help. And um, so just, yeah, give yourself permission to start coaching. Hi, Heather. Glad that you're on here right now. Look at the co-working space that I'm in. I'm only here for a couple more days, unfortunately, and this has been my favorite space, co-working space. The view is just insane. Um, okay, but let's go ahead and get started. So grab um, paper and a pen because there's four questions that I'm gonna ask you, and I don't want you to do this later because nobody's gonna do this later. I want you to do this right now, okay? Hi, Heather. I'm so happy you're here right now. This is so amazing. Um, all right, so I'm going to switch over temporarily to the questions. All right, so the first one is, our best clients are usually the past versions of ourselves. Write down a time when you experience the most pain in your life and the thing or process that saved you from the personal hurricane. So I'll say that again. Our best clients are usually the past version of ourselves. Write down a time when you experienced the most pain in your life and the thing or the process that saved you from the personal hurricane. And I'm going to copy and paste this and for the comment section because if you're like me, I do better. I don't do well with hearing things. It goes through one ear and out the other. So I just started a coaching warrior program. First session is going to be on Monday and it's for six women that are new life coaches and they want to progress and move forward and accomplish all their business goals. And so this is one of the things that we're going to be working on in the program. So take a little bit of time, write this down a couple minutes. Our best clients are usually the past versions of ourselves. Write down a time when you experienced the most pain in your life and the thing in the, or the process that saved you from the personal hurricane. And just to share my personal hurricane, that was being um, fired from my nursing job. I was a labor and delivery nurse for five years, which I'm sure you guys know the story. I've talked about it so many times, but I hated being a nurse. And even though I delivered babies, which is a miracle, amazing, um, I just was not meant to be a nurse in this world and didn't feel good. And every day driving to the hospital, I would just, I would secretly wish I'd get in a car accident so I wouldn't have to show up to work. And which, I, no one should ever feel that way. And um, so I ended up losing my nursing job from a little mistake I made February 2016. And then I started filing divorce paperwork with my husband around the same time. So it was a very um, obviously stressful time, very my personal hurricane. And working with a life coach is the thing that saved me from that time. She helped me to have a completely new mindset. She asked me the questions that no one else had ever asked me in my life. And that's why I am where I am today. It's why I'm traveling the world. It's why I'm running my own life coaching business. I'm no longer a nurse. And so that was, so that's what I'm super passionate about now is working with women and helping them to get out of jobs that 
make them miserable and that they know that they're destined for something greater, whether that's becoming a coach or something else and just helping them work through that process and giving them the permission that it's okay to not like your job or to even feel that there's something more for you out there and figure out what that is. So that was my answer to that question. Let's move on to the second one. Okay, so the second one is when we start putting out content on social media, our vibe will attract our tribe. What would be really fun for you to write or talk about right now? I'll say that again. When we start putting out content on social media, our vibe will attract our tribe. What would be really fun for you to write or talk about right now? We're going to put this in here. And for whoever's watching right now, feel free to put your answers in the comment section. Hi, Jamie. I'm so excited that you're here. Are you, do you have a pen and paper? Are you doing this right now? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, forever, whoever's doing this exercise right now, love to hear from you. Let me know who's on, where you're coming from, and what your answers are. I mean, this is a workshop. This is an interactive workshop. I don't want to just be talking the whole time. I get so tired of hearing my own voice. Your journey in coach training. Okay, tell me more about your journey in coach training, Jamie. Whoa. <laughs> um, so let's see. What would be my answer to this one? When we start putting out content on social media, our vibe will attract our tribe. What would be really fun? Oh, so that's your answer, Jamie. So it would be really fun for you to write or talk about coach training. Good. So you should talk about that and see who it starts to attract. Um, for me, obviously, it's really fun to talk about starting a business. So that's, I love it. I love talking about starting a business. I also love it's funny when I talk, when I do videos like this, I like to do helping people start a business. But when I write, I don't necessarily like to write about starting a business. I like to write about um, just really like raw and authentic thoughts and feelings and get in. It's more of like my life coachy and soulful type of stuff. And I'm writing a book right now too. And a lot of my book is about like, um, just a memoir of my past life and really taboo topics and things that are not appropriate to talk about. All right, let's go on to our next, our third question. So what's an industry you are passionate about that has gaps and you feel confident there's a solution? What's an industry that you're passionate about that has gaps and you feel confident there's a solution? Mm -hmm. There we go. Put that in the comment section. What's an industry that you're passionate about that has gaps and you feel confident there's a solution? See, Jamie, you said, how I thought it was going to be so hard, but it is easier to step out of my comfort zone than I thought it would be. Mm, you should write about that. That sounds like an amazing topic. So um, when I first started coaching, I was a pregnancy coach. And the reason I became a pregnancy coach was because when I was labor and delivery nurse, I was so frustrated by what I saw. And what I saw was pregnant women that had little to no support in their pregnancy and they were showing up in their labors very scared and very fearful to the point where it was negatively impacting their labor experience. And so that's why I was like, I want to help support them throughout their pregnancy and um, to reassure them and to answer questions. And um, because I would see women coming in in full blown labor you know, screaming and in pain, and we're trying to teach them about what epidurals are and what their options are and different positions they can birth in, and you're just not going to be able to learn all that when you're in that much pain. So I was like, well, what happened if I would actually help to educate them about this stuff beforehand so that way when they're in labor, then they don't have to try to make those type of decisions. And so that was something I was really passionate about and obviously started my whole coaching career. So same for you. 
Um, if anyone wants to answer this, I would love to know an industry that you're passionate about that you visibly see gaps and you feel like that there could be um, a solution to it. Okay, let's go on to the fourth one, the fourth and last question. So we teach what we need to learn. The fastest way to learn is by teaching. What's an area in your life that you would like to improve and teach others how to improve as well? We teach what we need to learn. The fastest way to learn is by teaching. What's an area in your life that you would like to improve and teach others how to improve as well? All right, let me copy and paste that and put it in here. I see three people watching and I only know one person who's on right now. Who are these other two people watching? Give me a shout out, say hi. I see big gaps in the mental health industry. Interesting, tell me more about that, Jamie. What kind of gaps do you see? And where do you think you could provide solutions? <gasps> Dory, hello, welcome. It's so nice to see you. Mm -hmm. So we teach what we need to learn. The fastest way to learn is by teaching. What's an area in your life that you would like to improve and teach others how to improve as well? For me, I would love to improve being a better coach and a better businesswoman. So that is why I teach other people how to do this. Um, I find that the more that I teach people how to run a business, then I learn myself how to run a really good business. Um, it's something that I'm really excited and passionate about. I know that there's a lot of coaches out there who just want to coach and they have no desire to run a business, which is fine. Um, unfortunately, feeling that way though is going to be more challenging because most of the time running, being life coach does come with starting your own business. You could be a coach and work for an organization or company. Um, that's definitely possible. It's just, it's not as common. Um, but for me, I love the day-to-day -day operations of running your business and starting a business and, um, creating nothing something from nothing and um so i'm just i'm just fascinated by the whole process i don't mind bookkeeping i don't mind the marketing and advertising and the graphic design and i just i think it's a ball but i know not everybody feels like that but um this i love it i love being a business owner and, and wearing all the different hats it amazes me how many hats that you wear when you run a business you end up doing things that you never thought you would do it's just, it's incredible. All right. Does anyone, before I sign off, does anyone have anything they want to comment on? Anything they'd like to share? I would love to hear your answers or you can always um, comment on this later or if you're watching the replay, feel free to comment it. I would just love to know if you had some discoveries or breakthroughs from these four questions. Mm -hmm. Jamie, you said types of services available, getting to services, support, education surrounding mental health. Okay, so these are the gaps that you see in the mental health industry. The types of services available, getting to services, support. Jamie, is this something that you think you would um, Add in your business as a service or coach around. I'm learning to hold grace for myself. Okay. So, Jimmy, you're in coach training right now to become a coach. How would you coach um, in the mental health industry? Like, tell me more what your client would look like or feel like, sound like have um, be struggling with mm. 
I know there's always a little bit of a delay between me talking and then this coming up. I can't wait for the day when Facebook um, improves this and people could just like, maybe instead of like writing, they could just be like interacting like a, vid like a video Zoom conference or something. That would be so cool. I know that this is gonna improve because Facebook Lives aren't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Negative self thoughts. What is that? I'm not sure what that was in relation to what I was asking or what part of that. Mm -hmm. Negative self thoughts. Oh, is that an area that you want to improve? Oh, that's probably what you're saying. It's an area you want to improve and teach others how to improve as well. Old habits, negative self thoughts. Good. Good. All right. Well, I hope that this helps you all. And I can't wait to start teaching this in my Coaching Warrior program. I'm coming up with so many cool, like, just worksheets and ideas to help support new coaches because you all know that's what I'm super passionate about. Um, the starting life coaching business is, like, whew, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. Um, so if you're feeling that right now, I just want to acknowledge that for you. I felt like that myself at one time, and some days I still feel it. Um, so it's just good to have a lot of positive support with running a coaching business, and that's what I hope to provide for everyone at the end of the day, starting with this group right here. You said, Raph, how they manifest with mental heat issues. Or do you mean mental health issues? How they manifest with mental health issues? Jamie, I think we still have two more sessions left. We should. We should um, get one of those sessions on the calendar and um, dive more into this stuff because I would love to help you find more clarity around this. Education on what is available and how they can best receive it. Good. Sounds like an area you're really passionate about. All right, everyone, I am going to jump off, but thank you so much for participating in this workshop. <laughs> um, I appreciate all of you that are here right now and um, if you're here on the replay as well like I said for follow along and type in the comment section um, the answers that you come up with I would love to support around them and hear what you have oh Dory thank you um, Dory are you gonna be on the coaching call on Sunday it's I know you came last time you came actually to all two so far so are you gonna be um, every month, so for anyone's watching this, every month I offer a free coaching call on Zoom, and it's group coaching, and you come with a request, anything that you would want support around in your life or your coaching business, and it's really fun, and it's really cool to see the um, breakthroughs that people get. So um, the information is in the events section in here, so check it out, the events section in the group and join in i would love love to you know see you meet you hear from you and see what type of support that you know we can or clarity we can get for you in your coaching business i'm going to try sundays don't always work well for me okay perfect i hope to see you there dory and thank you jamie and dory for being here and i appreciate you all have a great day bye